welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys are here. For today's video, we are using the 24G palette Bum, ba, da, da, from Morphe. It is another one of Morphe's new palette. You guys, I love Morphe so much. Their stuff is so inexpensive and the quality that it is, especially now, is so good. If you guys are looking for a affordable makeup brand um, for maybe eyeshadow palettes, they have everything. They have eyeshadow palettes, brushes, concealers. They don't have foundation yet, yet, but they have like a bunch of different things and it's very affordable. So I would definitely recommend um, checking out the Morphe website so you guys can see all the wonderful products that they have. Um, and I will leave a link to their website down in the description box. On a side note, for you guys who have me on Facebook, and if you don't have me on Facebook, then go follow my Facebook page. It is Priscilla Michelle XOXO. And um, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for this palette on my Facebook page live. So go and check that out. I'm gonna be announcing the rules and everything on my Facebook page. Come on, y'all. This is a great palette. You don't wanna miss out on it. And it's free makeup. So yeah, go head over to my Facebook page and you guys can have a chance to win a 24G palette. I created this look I'm wearing on my eyes right now. It's very pink, it's very shiny, it's very rose gold-y. So I hope you guys like it. Um, if you guys want to see how I created this look using the new Morphe 24G Grand Glam palette, then keep on watching. All right guys, so like the intro said, we are using the 24G palette, and it is this one here. Let's see, I'm gonna read the back of it so you guys know like what's inside and what to expect. It says 24 super size shades that'll wow 24 seven. Time to go big or go home. Rock endless looks with 24 crazy, creamy, powerful pigmented eyeshadows day or night, wet or dry, these natural and bronze shades go the distance. And since a morph babe loves to play, we size these matte and metallic wonders up to 2.2 times double the pleasure. Okay, okay. This is what it looks like. That's more of like a natural color, what all the colors look like. And the new Morphe palettes, they do have names on them. So this one does have some names. Let's see, can you guys see that? So beautiful. So there's lots of pinky colors, browns, neutrals. I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them, I love them. So we're going to create a look on our eyes using this palette. I haven't played with it at all, so this is gonna be the first time I'm actually like dipping brushes into it and putting it on my eyes. So I'm really excited. All right guys, so I primed my eyes and we are going to go in with the shade Creamer on an E23 brush. And we're just going to put that all over our eye. And Creamer is just like a very neutral shade. It's this one here. You guys can see it there. So we're just kind of setting that primer. Oops. All right guys, so I'm gonna do like a rose gold cut crease. Um, and so for the crease area, I'm gonna go in with the shade Brassy, and it is this color right here, this brassy shade. That's the color of it, but it's kind of like a maroon, orangey color. And I'm gonna take a M433 brush, and I'm going to just apply that here, right in that area. And just kind of drag it out a little bit and put it into my crease, just like that. All right, and so now I'm gonna go in with another brush. This is a E17 brush, and I'm going to take the shade Flirty, and that's this shade here. I'm gonna take Flirty, Flirty there, and I'm just going to apply that over that color with this brush. So 
So now I'm gonna go in with that brown color. Um, the brown color is called Brew. It's like a brown, purpley color. This one here. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. So right here, I, I'm gonna connect it. I thought I was gonna do a cut crease, but I'm gonna connect them. Um, so I'm gonna go in with that shade Brew with a small brush and I'm going to just apply it here and kind of connect it right here. Just like that. And I'm just kind of blending it in to this shadow. Just like that. And now I'm gonna take that really, really bright pink color um, and that color is called Glitz. So I'm gonna go in with this one here. It's like a really pink color. And I'm just going to apply that into my crease again. And just kind of drag it all the way through there. All right, so this is what the eye should look like so far. And now I'm going to apply the shade Marble. And Marble is like the most rose goldy color that's in here. It's this one right here. So it's very, very shiny. Um, I'm going to apply that, of course, with my finger. You guys know I love applying these types of shadows with my finger. And I'm just going to apply that all on my lid right here. The shadows are so like blendable, so creamy. I really do love, love them. Morphe changed up a lot of their stuff after the um, Jaclyn Hill palette and they have just been like killing everything. So this is what the eye should look like after you apply that glitter. I am gonna go in with another glitter um, just on top just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, and that color is going to be the color Glazed. And Glazed is like the really, really like blinding vanilla highlight color. Let me see if I can, you guys can't even see it because it's so bright, but I'm gonna apply that just a little bit on top of this right there in the center. And you guys can see how it just brought out the pink a little bit more. Just right there in the center. A little bit more. The color is absolutely beautiful. So this is what the eye should look like. I am going to blend out the corners here with that first brush that we went into. And what I did with those colors is I kind of winged it out um, just to give like that cat eye um, appearance of the shadows. But we're gonna blend out these harsh lines that we left here. Okay, so now I'm going to apply, that's my neighbor's dog, y'all. <laughs> um, now I'm going to apply a color on my lower lash line. And for that, I'm gonna use my M508 brush and I'm going to use the color Spiffy on there and that's this color here. Now I'm just going to blend that out with a small brush. Actually I'm going to add a brown color. I'm going to add the color Brew. That same color that we put in this area. I'm going to add it onto the lower lash line. Before the inner corners, we are going to use the shade Glazed, which is the shade that I put right on top of the pink color. And hopefully you guys see the highlight that it gives. It's so pretty, I do love it. And 
And we're gonna put some of that up here on our brow bone. So this is what the eyes should look like so far. I am going to add a um, winged eyeliner and mascara and lashes, so I'll be right back. All right guys, well this is what the eyes should look like. I did apply mascara, eyeliner, and lashes. My lashes are still drying on this eye. Um, but I did just want to do some finishing touches to the look. So I am going to add a black eyeliner um, in my waterline just to darken up my eyes. And this is just a um, City Color Creamy Eyeliner. It's just an eyeliner that I have here. I don't remember where I got it from. All right guys, while my eyelashes are drying, I am going to finish off the look with some lipstick. And I'm going to use my favorite, favorite, favorite of all time um, lip liners in the color Soar by MAC. Look at how small it is. That's how much I use it. I think I've used it almost every day. Um, this is the color I like using like for my job and stuff because it's just a very like nice pink color. So I really do love it. And now I'm going to apply Gemini. And this is the Jeffree Star lipstick. I'm almost out of this too because it's one of my favorites. My lips are so dry. And so I know this is like a matte look, so I did want to top it off with the new Patrick Star Mama Star lip gloss. So I wanted to um, just top off my lips with this because I think this color is absolutely beautiful. And I just love the shine that it gives. Alright guys, so this is what the entire look should look like with the lipstick and everything. I am going to try um, using one of the shadows in this palette as a highlighter just to see how it looks. Um, and I'm going to use um, a MAC brush and I'm going to use the shade Crystal. Crystal is the first shade. It's this one here can't even see it this one here um, I'm going to use that one as a highlighter just to see how it applies Let's see. it does give it does give a really pretty sheer to it I do like that oh can you guys see that ooh I bet if you added added like fix plus fix plus to this, it would be crazy. Oh, look at that nose highlight. Okay, so these pans, because of how big they are, you can actually use the shadows for like highlighter if you wanted to. So like these colors here, those are two beautiful colors to use as a highlighter which I just used that first one as a highlighter and I think it looks really pretty. Um, you guys can see it right there. It just gave like a really pretty sheer look to it, to my face, and I love it. All right, everyone, well, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm doing a giveaway for this palette on my Facebook page, so make sure to check that out. I'll put it right here again, Priscilla Michelle XOXO. Maybe you guys will be able to create your own looks using this palette for free. And that's awesome. So yeah, don't forget to go and head over to my Facebook page so you guys can see the rules on how to enter the giveaway. As always, I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.